The discovery of Monument Valley by the outside world can be directly linked to the Navajo's dedication to sheep raising. The story is a dramatic series of events that changed the tribe's way of life forever. The significant contribution from the sheep isn't mutton, it's wool. The animals are sheared once a year in the spring. This is the first step in a long, complex operation that has changed very little since the Navajo first began to raise sheep. For centuries, this fine wool has been woven by Navajo women into superb rugs and blankets. And these very desirable items eventually found a huge market. Far more wool is produced than is needed by the Navajo weavers, and the balance is sold to commercial buyers. Once shearing is completed, the highly skilled work begins. The next step is to clean the wool. If it's greasy, it's washed with soap made from the roots of the yucca plant. Then the wool is carded. This operation is like combing, in that the wool is untangled and straightened so the hairs are all in one direction. The straightened fibers are then spun into yarn. Navajo women always use a spindle, perhaps because a spinning wheel would take up too much room in the hogan. A great deal of talent and experience are needed to produce smooth yarn of uniform strength and fineness. The tasks of carding and spinning often take longer than the actual weaving, and many Navajo weavers have to use commercially spun yarns to make a profit. For generations, Navajo weavers have maintained a constant superiority in the quality of their work over that of all other tribes. Few modern changes have been made in the traditional techniques and equipment. Originally, the wool was dyed with natural dyes made from native plants. Now, commercial dyes often reproduce the conventional colors and provide new shades as well. More than 2,000 hours of labor may go into a comparatively small rug, three feet by five. Beside the great virtuosity of their work, the most astonishing fact about the Navajo rug weavers is that from first to last, they often keep the design for the complete rug in their heads. They don't need notes or sketches. Their superlative craftsmanship is a source of justifiable pride for the Navajo weavers themselves and for the entire tribe. 